A lot of SmartCast users have been getting the SmartCast TV not available error and in this solution, I will be focusing on completely getting rid of this issue using some easy solutions, that you can apply yourself without the need of any expert. Before you start, try power cycling your Vizio SmartCast TV to avoid this error at the very start. Press the menu button on your TV remote and select system. In the system menu proceed to select the reset and admin option. Next click on the soft power cycle option, and once it's done check to see if the error vanishes or not. If the soft power cycle option does not work for you, you can try implementing these steps. Power off your TV using the power button on your TV remote and then unplug the power cable from your TV and the power source. Now hold the power button on the TV for almost around 30 seconds. Then plug the power cable back into the TV and the power source. Lastly, power on your TV from the remote as you would do normally and check to see if the error got fixed. Once you've tried this basic fix and still get the same error, then you can continue with the next few methods. Method 1. Power cycle your router. Unplug the modem and router from the power outlet. Wait at least 15 seconds. Plug the modem back into the power outlet first, wait 1 to 2 minutes, then it's time to power on the router. Wait for all panel lights on your cable modem to become green on before testing your internet connection. Lastly check whether the Vizio Smartcast TV not available issue is rectified. Method 2. Update the system firmware. With the TV turned on, click on the menu button on the TV remote and then select the system option. Now locate and select the system updates option and afterward confirm your selection for checking for updates. TV will now start to look for the available updates and will download them if found any and most probably Smartcast TV not available in your region issue would be rectified. Method 3. Perform a factory reset. Press the menu button on your TV remote and from here select system. In the system menu click on reset and admin and afterward click on reset TV to factory defaults. Wait for the process to get complete and then see if the error got removed completely. Thanks for watching and listening.